Hi Taurus, welcome to your monthly general reading for March 2021. I am Charlene Lozette. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. Let's take a look and see what's going on for you, boo boo. All right, let's see. Taurus. Taurus. Um, all right, the King of Swords, the Ten of Wands, this is in your career finances, and the Sun. This is beautiful. Actually, this is in alignment with your reading for the week, for this week, for, uh, sorry, this is the week because I'm recording for this month, um, February 23rd to March 3rd. So if you're watching this, um, go take a look at that weekly reading, February 23rd to March 2nd, sorry. Oh, this is great. Oh my God, Becky, this is fantastic. Oh, this, this is nice. Okay, wonderful. Listen, before I get into the rest of this reading, I just want you to know, the stuff that you've been dealing with that has like been difficult, that has been weighing on you, that has been like pushing you, right? And making you feel even at points very uncomfortable or very like unsettled because you're like, why is this happening? This is too much or whatever. Uh, it's it's been it's been designed as part of your spiritual awakening some of you may have been going through your Saturn return if you're like 28 to 30 very much could be the case but for others of you this is lessons this is learning um, about you know where maybe um, you need to grow and you need to evolve and you need to change and you need to shift not because there's anything wrong with you but because if you don't shift ooh, interesting bottom of the deck there but it, because if you don't change and you're going to keep repeating the same career patterns the same finance patterns over and over and over again and so the universe was like taurus it is time you know how like in the lion king who is it who is it that says it is time is it rafiki that says that i don't know virgo interesting yeah a lot of structure is really important for you right now a lot of discipline a lot of organization okay a lot of getting very clear on what you're releasing you know don't be afraid imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind don't be afraid of the change here okay don't be afraid of um what you're what you're experiencing because i actually like this is very beautiful to be quite honest with you the sun is shining on your abundance on your success, on your happiness, on your growth, on your evolution, on your ability to sit in your power, right? Here's the Queen of Pentacles, that's Taurian energy, Taurian Virgo and Capricorn energy. You got Capricorn here as well, and you got Virgo in the astrology card. Hello, hi, welcome to the earth party. And this is like so important for you to understand about, you know, where maybe in the past you could have been resisting going after those things that you deserve, right? Like, where were you settling? Where were you turning around and going, I know that I hate this job so much and it's so burdensome and it's so challenging and so difficult, but I'm just going to stick it out. Like, why? Right? Why? Because the King of Swords and the Ten of Swords tells me, one, this month you get very logical, very rational. Uh, very unemotional around your career and your finances and you realize wait a minute maybe i've been making mountains out of molehill maybe i've been carrying around burdens that i that don't belong to me anymore maybe i've been carrying a weight in my life thinking that all these things are hard or difficult or challenging but the reality of it is, is that they're not right or, or that they taught me lessons as well you know there's light and shadow aspects to every part of our life and, and maybe that's where that obstacle is is that you weren't able to see the light or the shadow aspect of things you were like in the extreme of the darkness or in the extreme of the light and now this month you're getting to find the balance this is also like a court um legal document paperwork um anything that like um you know court related judges etc lawyers the ten of wands is telling me that like you're putting the burden down this month and that's great for the month of march you're putting it down and you're like no i'm walking on sunshine yeah right doesn't it feel good da, 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 da. like it's a very a very good energy here that you have naturally here with the judgment the two of swords and the queen of pentacles this is the universe guiding you are you gonna fucking answer the call or are you gonna be like my life is hard right don't your life is not hard right are there obstacles yeah are there challenges sure 
<laughs> they're all learning lessons though, right? Because because that evolution, that growth of coming to terms with those hard decisions, with taking the blinders off, with being accountable for your own actions and how you show up in the world is what's leading you to this queen of pentacles. Money, stability, nurturing, financial success, abundance. Virgo reminds you to fucking be... <sighs> Type A, nitty gritty, organized, balanced, right? Get your shit in order, structure, routine, right? Fucking make that list, get that Excel sheet out, do your taxes, all that stuff. And then imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Well, this is about you kind of seeing things from a different perspective, imagining things again from like that glass half full maybe versus that glass half empty where you were going at before. Now, when I look at the devil, the three of cups and the four of cups, because we're moving into your love section of the reading Taurus, um, what I'm seeing here is one, there may have been a tendency to kind of like do things for partners. So like maybe you, um, kind of had that martyr energy where you're like, I have to do everything for my partner so they can accept me and embrace me and love me, yada, yada. No. And or like being okay with being the third wheel or the other woman or the other men or the other them. Not anymore. Okay, or continuing to get in relationships with people that were unavailable and then feeling really like shitty about it after, feeling like you made a mistake, like you regretted, like why did I get into this connection? Not anymore, okay? What you're looking at this month, maybe you used to party a lot, drink a lot, go out and like to clubs and stuff like that, and now you're like, why am I doing all these things? You know, depending on where you are in the world, things are different. But this devil, the three of cups and the four of cups is very much telling me that there's some growth here that's happening for you around your love life. I think this pertains primarily to people who are single. Um, if it resonates with you and you're in a relationship, take it. But this is about letting go of the codependency, of the addictions. The Three of Cups is drinking sometimes heavily. Devil codependency addictions as well. Uh, toxic patterns, limiting self-beliefs. And the Four of Cups, look, wearing a sweater saying, I'm over it. I'm not, I'm not going to do this anymore. I realize these Three Cups, they might not have been serving me. This third-party situationship might not have been serving me. I'm ready to move on. Let's get your love reading um, deception as I split the deck. Wow. All right. If you're interested in a private reading tour, take a look at the description box below. That's how you can book a live or pre-recorded service with me. If you like crystal jewelry, take a look at Starcy Jewels. It's my jewelry line. I hand bake all the pieces. It's your modern day amulets to help you tap into your limitless potential. Um, in the description box below as well. Let's get the last couple of romance cards for you and we'll wrap this reading up. Make sure you go watch your weekly videos as well. So did you notice they were both bloop and I had to go like this? So stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic, right? Look for new opportunities. Remember that the past is just not worth it, right? And the fact that true love showed up reversed as well with this, even though I don't do reversals, I do want to point out the fact that the fact that this is reversed is telling me that like maybe there's this um, codependent um, nature or this idea or this vision um, that this person that is partaking in a third party situation with you or is a manipulative or toxic or unhealthy in any which way um, is like the love of your life. That's not. Right? It's not. But what you will understand is that once you are able to let go of this toxic energy around your love life, these patterns, these habits, these belief systems, you will be able to attract true love, Taurus, all right? And that's the important thing to know here, okay? Do not give up on true love. Just understand maybe why it hasn't come to you and what lessons you need to learn around that. All right, Taurus, that is your monthly reading. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you for being a part of our community. If you want a private reading or to purchase anything from Starcy Jewels, it's all in the description box below. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.